Today's lesson is on the areas of regular polygons. Take a minute to read the learning goal and scale. Find where you are on the scale before we begin the lesson. The area of a regular polygon is related to the perpendicular distance from the center of the polygon to one of its sides. We can circumscribe a circle about any regular polygon. The center of the regular polygon is also the center of the circumscribed circle. The radius of the regular polygon is the distance from the center to a vertex. The apothem is the perpendicular distance from the center to the side. In example one, we will find angle measures. The figure is a regular pentagon with radii and an apothem drawn. What is the measure of each numbered angle? Let's start by finding the measure of angle one. Since we can circumscribe a circle about this regular pentagon, the sum of the vertex angles will be 360 degrees. Since there are one, two, three, four, five vertex angles, we'll take 360 degrees and divide it by five. So the measure of angle one is 72 degrees. Angle two is created by drawing the apothem or the altitude from the vertex angle to the side. So this will be half of the measure of angle one. Since the measure of angle one was 72 degrees, when we divide that by 2, the measure of angle 2 will be 36 degrees. To find the measure of angle 3, notice that the apothem creates a right triangle. We have a 90 degree angle here, and we know that the measure of angle 2 is 36 degrees. So the measure of angle 3 plus the measure of angle 2 will equal 90 degrees. Let's substitute 36 in for the measure of angle 2 and solve for the measure of angle 3. We'll subtract 36 from both sides, and the measure of angle 3 equals 54. So the measure of angle 1 is 72 degrees, the measure of angle 2 is 36 degrees, and the measure of angle 3 is 54 degrees. Pause the video and do you try number 1. A portion of a regular octagon has radii and an apothem drawn. What is the measure of each numbered angle? Here we have a choice. Since we only have half of an octagon, we know that the sum of the four vertex angles shown will give us half of 360 or 180 degrees. Or we can stick with the fact that there are eight vertex angles in a regular octagon that complete a circle, so we can take 360 and divide it by eight. So the measure of angle one is 45 degrees. For angle two's measure, the apothem bisects this 45 degree vertex angle, so the measure of angle two will be half of the measure of angle one. So the measure of angle two is 22.5 degrees. To find the measure of angle three, we notice that the apothem creates a right triangle. Since the measure of angle two is 22.5 degrees, and we know this is a 90 degree angle, the measure of angle two plus the measure of angle three will equal 90 degrees. We'll substitute 22.5 in for the measure of angle 2, subtract 22.5 from both sides of the equation, and the measure of angle 3 equals 67.5 degrees. So the measure of angle 1 is 45 degrees, the measure of angle 2 is 22.5 degrees, and the measure of angle 3 is 67.5 degrees. If two figures are congruent, then their areas are equal. Suppose we have a regular n-gon with sides s. The radii divide the figure into n congruent isosceles triangles. Since all congruent figures have equal areas, the areas of the isosceles triangles are also equal. Looking at this isosceles triangle, you will notice that the height is a and the base is s. So the area of each one of these isosceles triangles will be half a times s. The perimeter of an n-gon is the number of sides n times the length of a side s, or n times s. By substitution, the area can be expressed as area equals half the apothem times the perimeter, or area equals the apothem times the perimeter divided by 2. Theorem 10-6 gives us the formula for the area of a regular polygon. The area of a regular polygon is half the product of the apothem and the perimeter. We can also write it as the product of the apothem and the perimeter divided by 2. 
In example two, we will find the area of a regular polygon. What is the area of the regular decagon? Let's start with the formula area equals the apothem times the perimeter divided by two. Remember, the apothem is the perpendicular distance from the center of the regular polygon to one of its sides, so our apothem is 12.3 inches. The perimeter is going to be the number of sides in a decagon, which is 10, times the length of one side, which is 8, or 80 inches. Now let's substitute 12.3 in for the length of our apothem and 80 in for the length of our perimeter. 12.3 times 80 is 984, divided by 2 is 492. So the area of our regular decagon is 492 inches squared. Pause the video and do you try number 2. What is the area of a regular pentagon with an 8 centimeter apothem and an 11.6 centimeter side? Let's start with the formula area equals the apothem times the perimeter divided by 2. The apothem is 8 centimeters and the perimeter is the number of sides, which will be 5 because it's a pentagon, times the length of one side, 11.6, which is 58. Let's substitute 8 in for the apothem and 58 in for the perimeter. 8 times 58 is 464, and dividing that by 2, we will get 232 centimeters squared. For part B, if the side of a regular polygon is reduced to half its length, how does the perimeter of the polygon change? Reduced to half its length means to divide it by 2. So let's take our side length 11.6 from part A and divide that by 2. Each side length of our regular pentagon is now 5.8 centimeters. Since we have a pentagon, we will take 5 sides times our new side length 5.8 and that will give us a perimeter of 29 centimeters. Comparing that to our perimeter from above, 29 is half 58. So when you half the length of each side, you are going to have a perimeter that is half the length of the original. In example 3, we will use special right triangles to find area. A honeycomb is made up of regular hexagonal cells. The length of a side of a cell is 3 millimeters. What is the area of a cell? I'm going to start this problem by drawing a hexagon with side 3 and putting in a few radii. In a regular hexagon, we will have 6 congruent isosceles triangles, so the 6 vertex angles will form 360 degrees, making each vertex angle 360 divided by 6, or 60 degrees. When we draw in the apothem, the apothem will divide the 60 degree vertex angle into two 30 degree angles. The apothem also divides the 3 millimeter side length into two congruent parts. So this will be 3 divided by 2 or 1.5. We now have a 30, 60, 90 triangle with the short leg 1.5 and we need to find the long leg A. Remember, the short leg has a length of x, the long leg has a length of x radical 3, and the hypotenuse has a length of 2x. Since we're looking for the apothem, we want to substitute 1.5 in for x here. Now that we know the length of the apothem, let's use the formula area equals the apothem times the perimeter divided by 2 we'll substitute 1.5 radical 3 in for the apothem. We need to find the perimeter by multiplying 6 sides times 3, the length of a side, to give us 18 millimeters. 1.5 times the square root of 3 times 18 is about 46.8. We'll divide that by 2 and the area of the cell is approximately equal to 23.4 square millimeters. Pause the video and do you try number three. The side of a regular hexagon is 16 feet. 
what is the area of the hexagon? Round your answer to the nearest square foot. Since we have a hexagon, we know that we will have six congruent isosceles triangles with the base being 16 feet. Since there are six vertex angles that form a circle, this angle will be 360 divided by 6, or 60 degrees. The apothem will split the 60 degree angle into two congruent 30 degree angles, giving us a 30, 60, 90 triangle. The apothem also splits the base length of 16 into two congruent segments, so the base of this right triangle will be 8 feet. The long leg of a 30, 60, 90 triangle is always the square root of 3 times longer than the short leg, so the apothem will be 8 radical 3. Since a hexagon is, has 6 sides, to find the perimeter, we will take 6 sides times the length of one side, 16, so 6 times 16, or 96 feet. Now let's use the formula to find the area of a regular polygon. Area equals the apothem times the perimeter divided by 2. We'll substitute 8 radical 3 in for the apothem and 96 in for the perimeter. 8 radical 3 times 96 gives us 1,330.2 approximately. Divide that by 2 and the area of the regular hexagon is about 665 squared. Now is your chance to see how well you understand the lesson. Pause the video and do the lesson check. Be sure to check your answers on the next slide. If you have any questions regarding the lesson check, be sure to ask me in class. If you can conquer the challenge problem, you know you met your learning goal. Take another minute to reread the learning goal and scale. Have you climbed any higher up the scale than where you were when we began the lesson?